Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Frank Sausage here, and, uh, well, <laughs> it's been a little while, huh? Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. I'm, well, I, I guess I, I shouldn't have any reason to apologize, I guess. I've just been really, really busy lately, and I haven't had a chance to really make any videos or, or do any around the town stuff, just because I've been, I've been working a lot, and, then, you know, at home here, at the house here, uh, you know, we got... My sister's back in the house now, and, and uh, her boyfriend stays here once in a while too. And so we're kind of we, we got, kind of got a full house, literally. So it's kind of hard to make a video when I want to, but uh, nobody's here today. So I figure, well, I might as well uh, do something. It's been since I think uh, October 14th since the last DVD update that I did. Well, I'm going to do a little DVD update today, but not the way I did it last time. Uh, last time I, I did it kind of. Br uh, briefly, and I was a little too, a little quiet too because I didn't want anybody here me making a video or whatever. You know, but but today nobody's here, so I can be as loud and obnoxious as I want to be. But I want to say uh, thanks for everyone for sticking around with me anyway, uh, for all my subscribers and and whatnot, uh, all the friends and stuff that I have on here uh, for sticking with me. And you know, I'm I'm hoping that you know. That eventually I'll get to make more videos this season, uh, random things or whatever. There's some big goals that I have this year, before this year is even over, before 2011 is over, that I want to get accomplished. My loan from the bank is almost done. Uh, it's a loan that I've been paying on for, oh God, since 2008, about, uh, about 2007, 2008. And it would have been done a lot faster had I paid it a lot quicker, but... I kind of took my sweet sweet time on, on it, and but now it's almost done. Uh, so that means that that Jeep will officially be mine here either uh, next month, or this coming month of November, or, or December, depending on how much I get paid or whatever. But uh, it makes a big difference. Right now that Jeep's getting work done because uh, it has some problems. Yeah, just right when it's almost get done pay, getting paid for, now it has problems. So is that something? <laughs> What can go wrong, will go wrong, Murphy's Law or whatever. If anything can happen, you know, it will happen or whatever. Anyway, that's Eddie Murphy's Law. <laughs> but then I'd have to laugh real funny like him, you know. <laughs> anyway, the point is, you know, I'm very happy that the loan will almost be done. Uh, it's almost done. That's, that's the biggest goal that I've had because I didn't think that uh, it would ever get done as quick as it has because, you know, I didn't, you know, when I wasn't working, I wasn't sure how I was going to do it. I mean, I knew how I was going to do it during the summertime because that's easy. You know, you mow yards or whatever, you know, get, you know, make a little money doing that. But uh, before I even got the job at American, I wasn't sure how I was going to be able to uh, make it all work. But uh, luckily, I think, uh, I think just this random luck, I think, uh, did it for me. And, and, and the fact of just uh, waiting long enough and, and uh, yeah, just made it made it simple, made it uh, made it made good things happen. So I didn't have to worry about uh, freaking out about not having a job or, or not being able to pay this by myself. I didn't want anybody to really help me. I, I'd, I'd rather get this done, take care of get or get this taken care of myself, more or less, than, than randomly just uh, have somebody else help me. You know, I try to be as independent as I can. You know, even living back here, mom, dad, things are starting to really get better than they were, than they completely were before, and, and, and I really like that. So, but I hope everything's going good with all you guys, and, and uh, sorry I haven't really been chatting a lot on YouTube, or, you know, the best way to find me if you want to chat with me about anything is Facebook, you know, and I'll put my face, if you're, if you're not friends with me on Facebook, you, you, you should be, because that's where, that's where I am, if you want to get a hold of me, and or talk or whatever. I don't really take. I don't really spend much time on YouTube as much as I used to. In fact, a lot of the videos or the people that I used to watch, I don't really watch as much. Obviously, I still watch Cool Dude. I still watch What Movie One, obviously, you know, because I, you know, because I like their videos and stuff. Um, but like the Fam Damley, I haven't really watched much. I, I, I kind of, and I know I'm probably gonna get made fun of the, the, for this or whatever, or, or be called a hypocrite, but. Uh, 
I used to be really big on shade tards and whatnot, and and uh, as of August of this year, I I actually like the end of August before September rolled around, I actually stopped watching the shade tards, and it wasn't because I hate the shade tards, because uh, I don't hate the shade tards. It's just that I got to thinking about it, and I, and I really it wasn't because of what everybody else was telling me about them. It was because of the fact that I I got to thinking, you know, I've been watching these guys for over a year and a half. And they're living the life that I will always dreamed of living, you know. And and obviously it's hard to say if that would ever happen for me. You never know, but I, you know, I have my doubts on that. You know, I think my life's going to be whatever, whatever it wants to be. I guess more or less. Anyway, I, I for one, you know, just started, started to stop watching because I was just kind of sick of seeing them be, you know. I love the videos, I love the humor, but the fact that these guys are living the dream life. That everybody else has always wanted to live, you know. They get, I mean, they they work for YouTube, so of course that's going to happen. And now I hear they're making a, they get a calendar getting made. So I got an email from Shay saying that they are making a, a calendar now. So I don't know. Maybe eventually, after a, a while, maybe I'll go back and start watching, continue where I left off, because I I remember exactly with the video that I left off, uh, or the last video I watched, and, and just kind of go like that. It's kind of like when I first started watching them, you know, I didn't watch them right away when they first started. I, I didn't actually watch them until probably started November of, of 2009, so it would have been almost two years this year if I would have keep, kept watching them. So, I don't know. I might go back to start watching them and continue where I left off again. It's just that I just, I don't know, I needed a Shaytard break probably is what I needed. Uh, but eventually, maybe I'll start watching their videos again. Because they're, they're still making videos, obviously. They're, they're, they they don't stop doing that. And uh, so, who knows? But uh, but normally, before, I'd watch them. I'd watch them literally just about every day. See what they were up to and whatnot. And I do miss their Idaho videos, more or less, when they first started. Because now that they live in Los Angeles, they're living, the, they're living more of a glamorous life than, 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 than we are. Than our, most of us who are on YouTube are. So, yeah, it's kind of, I don't know, I mean, I still, I still like Shay. I still got my Shay Carl shirt, you know, if, if, uh, if life is worth living, it's worth recording sh shirt, because that's, that's, that's a good, uh, uh, quote, and, and I like the, the color of the shirt, and I like the, the, the old camera and all that, so that's the only Shay Carl merchandise I've ever bought, but I think it was really worth it, I really do. So we'll see what happens. And the Fam Damley, I, 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 I like watching them. I haven't watched them in a while, but but uh, I watch them once in a while because they're they're like you know the shade, how the shade tribes were before they got all famous or whatever. Well, uh, Fam Damley is getting that way. They're they're starting to get that way because they went to VidCon and everything, but uh, and because they know Shay and, and Katie Let. But it was mostly because of the fact that I like their simple life. You know, the simple life that they lived, you know, that's that's what a real family is. You know, hard-working family and, you know, not somebody who's going to get a movie role just because they got cute kids or whatever, you know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows what's going on, really, right? But anyway, I'm going to see how much time I got here. Oh, geez, we got lots of time here. I want to show you guys kind of some of the DVDs and Blu-rays because I've been really stocking up on Blu-rays lately. And it, it's not real expensive Blu-rays because I don't want to pay too much for them, you know. What, but, but I, but because I, I got to thinking about it, it's like I want to start working on my collection a little bit. Uh, I am going to be putting some money away here to save up for uh, something big here before the end of the year, uh, something I wanted for a long time. But I'm not going to say until that actually happens, and hopefully it'll happen before Christmas this year, as long as everything goes as good as it's supposed to go. Uh, which I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, you know, there's no reason why it shouldn't. Anyway, so in the meantime, I've been kind of adding on to my collection. I've been adding a lot more Blu-rays. I still buy DVDs here and there, but uh, but I've been trying to, to to get you know as many good deals as I can. And I'm gonna show you guys kind of because there's some DVDs and there's some Blu-rays that you haven't seen that I that I purchased uh, that I'm just gonna go through here. Like I'm gonna show you the first one here that I picked up here, that I just recently got. I'm sure you guys have seen this one. It's the Shawn Michaels My Journey uh, DVD 3D set. It's uh, loaded with lots of, well, as it, not as many features, 
but there's just a lot more just matches, and that's fine with me. But the the reason why I really wanted this in the first place, not just because it only costs like six dollars to get, was it was because of the fact that I wanted to hear that interview. Like, okay, the new Shawn Michaels uh, versus Bret Hart DVD or Blu-ray that comes out that just came out. They talk about, you know, they they do an exclusive interview with Bret and Shawn talking about their rivalry. Well, I want to hear Shawn Michaels' opinion on that, on this DVD, because of the fact that it's on here. Plus, also go through the chronological era of his life, uh, from his first wrestling matches to his pretty much almost last matches. This goes up to, this goes from his uh, first, like, probably debut match in 1985, uh, January 11th, 1985, to the uh, one of the match match for WrestleMania 25 with uh, against the Undertaker. That was not his last match, but they should have they should have waited until his match with the Undertaker at WrestleMania 26 and then put that on here. But oh well, you know I, I'm sure it's gonna be a good collection. I just started watching. I'm on the very first match, Shawn Michaels against One Man Gang from the days back in uh, WCCW. World Class Championship Wrestling, so it's all in Texas and all that. So, yeah, I mean, I I thought it was worth it, and you know, Shawn Michaels is is still the man. I mean, he, I mean, I like a lot of wrestlers. I, I Bret Hart's my all time favorite. You know, no matter what, uh, just because the guy can really, you know, he he's a, a legendary wrestler. But but over here, I mean, I I pretty much put a lot of my DVDs, my wrestling DVDs in here. I'll show you probably show you guys that eventually. The other one I picked up, and I got this for six bucks as well, from Amazon. The uh, Born to Controversy, the Roddy, the Roddy Roddy Piper story, and this one also has a bunch of features. Uh, just about every single Piper's Pit that ever was out. I liked it because it looks, you know, like a movie style. You know, like it's film, like a film style. Like they're trying to promote a movie rather than because he was an actor too, and he still kind of is. He's done many different roles or whatever, so I kind of like this, you know. But it talks a lot about his early days, as well as his later days and stuff, and, and stuff in the middle. And, yeah, I mean, it's it's a three-disc set, just like uh, uh, everything else, just like the Shawn Michaels one. Just like pretty much everything that they come out with now is a three-disc CUD set. Hardly ever comes out with a two-disc set. But it's, I like the cover and everything, and, yeah, it's pretty, it's crazy. Really crazy, but it's uh, something that's uh, worth collecting because nowadays you can get WWE DVDs for real cheap on Amazon. There's a lot that they got. They got like the one that Kane one that I will probably get eventually, and the Undertaker one for like less than ten dollars. That's a hell of a steal. Okay, now for some of the Blu-rays and stuff that I got. Now you guys saw, well, you guys saw the Married with Children set, and you saw the Goonies Blu-ray. Uh, recently, I I was able to get. You know, the first time I ever owned this in my collection at all. But the Star Wars, the first three episodes, I actually watched the first one last night. And I actually was very, very impressed. Because I'm not a Star Wars freak, like some people out there. But I do respect the series. I do respect the the uh, the, the six films that came out. Uh, this is a franchise that will never, ever die. You, you might have thought that after the third movie, which was kind of the last movie, even though it was technically the third movie, uh, you thought that after that was over, and out on DVD and Blu-ray, that you know that was going to be the last thing they were ever going to do Star Wars related. But no, they they do the, they have the Clone Wars, they have the, that show on that was a show on Cartoon Network. They have all these video games that come out like it seems like every year, or at least once or or every year or every other year, there's like a new Star Wars video game out. But uh, this set actually only cost me about $20. Uh, originally, if you bought it new, it would be like $50, $50 about, or 40 or $50, depending on where you got it from. But I am smart, and I said, I'm not going to pay $50 for this. Uh, I don't care if, if I was a deep and diehard fan of this, I would not pay more than $20 for this, because come on. I mean, do Blu-rays really have to be that expensive? I mean, good God, you know? Good golly, Miss Molly, you know? Sweet Sassy Molassie and all those other fans.